Second, then the money, 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 money. We can talk some business if it's worth it. Ain't no question. I want money, 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 money. Navigating challenges can be tough, especially in the trucking industry. As a mentor, it's crucial that we provide you with the most up to date tips and tricks to help you navigate this ever changing industry. So in today's video, we're going to put you on point as you enter the trucking space and help you to understand what to expect as you grow your business. So I have five tips that's really going to help you out. So before we get into this video, let's just do some housekeeping. First of all, are you subscribed to this channel? If you are currently watching this video, but you are not subscribed to the channel, then what are you waiting for? It's free, it's informational, it's entertaining, and it's really going to help you to be successful in your box truck business. So before you watch the rest of this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time we upload a video. Now let's get back to the video. Tip number one, a good team is key. As an owner operator, you're going to face many tasks throughout each day. You're going to hire dr and train drivers, go through mounds of paperwork, buy equipment, replace equipment, and have mechanical issues, etc. You're going to want to build relationships with each person you have a good experience with so they can be a part of your team, so to speak. So why not take finding and securing loads off your plate? Dispatch Experts has helped many of our mentees and peers to build their business by dispatching loads for them. What I appreciate about them is that you don't have to worry about many of the tasks that owner operators who choose to do it themselves have to do. So Dispatch Experts has this list of brokers that work with new carriers. They take care of broker setups free of charge and they also factor for you. That leaves you free to either keep your wheels turning or manage your team. Now there's a link here on the screen or in the description box if you want to schedule time to talk with them and make sure you tell them that the box truck couple sent you. Tip number two, understand your time frames and how to navigate through them. So here's some time frames to consider. When you complete your authority, it's going to take 21 days for your authority to go active. So during that time, you want to stay busy by taking necessary steps to ensure you go active on time. Get your BOC3, get your UCR, and a few days before you're set to go active, go ahead and get your insurance so that when uh, the 21 days has expired, you'll be active. Number two, once you're active, RMS can take an additional 48 hours to 72 hours to update you and your system. So keep that in mind. And then number three, when you're ready to roll as a new authority and you're going to have some milestones, right? Many companies want you to have three months under your authority and some either, even six months to a year. So during that time, DOT inspections are key. This is a gem. They're key to keeping your truck rolling because they're going to be brokers who will still work with you even though you haven't met those milestones because you have compliant DOT inspections and the right attitude. No one wants to work with somebody with a bad attitude. And some brokers will even accept references like previous loads or rate confirmations that you have already ran. Tip number three, use the best resources. I made this a separate tip, but it really has to do with building your team. So let's think about it like this. How many of you barbecue or cook often? Now, do you buy the cheap aluminum foil that falls apart before you can even tear it off the roll? Or do you get the best kind so that when you go to smoke that brisket, you don't have to worry about it falling apart? I know I want the best kind. And the same holds true for the people that I use to help me manage my business. Many people e email me, DM me, leave comments in our videos trying to find out who we use for factoring and ELD services. Now, our reason for the people we use is the same for both companies. 
They have proven to be trustworthy and reliable, and they treat us and our referrals like family. So if you need factoring, make sure you call Justin at RTS. His number's on the screen. They even offer fuel cards for your business. For ELD service, we use, we use Motive, who's formerly Keep Trucking, and we have not been disappointed. When we first started, we had one of those ELDs from the truck stop. Man, what an experience. So if you're interested in reliable ELD service, call Edward. His number's right here and also down in the description box below. And don't forget to tell them the box truck couple sent you. Now, tip number four, don't skimp on equipment. Bottom line. Bottom line is you're going to need a pallet jack. You're, no, you're really going to need a pallet jack chalk so your pallet jack isn't running all over the truck. You're going to need straps. You're going to need PPE, which is protective gear like gloves, safety vests, and the right shoes. So don't skimp on these items. Down in the description box below, you'll find a link to our Amazon store. And under the tab, Box Truck Essentials, you're going to find all of our recommend all of our recommendations for all of the things that you'll need for your box truck equipment, okay? Tip number five, last but not least, get yourself a mentor, somebody that will help you navigate the trucking industry. It's going to prove to be invaluable to your business. A mentor will bring practical industry experience and knowledge, offer guidance on navigating challenges, offer guidance on regulations and best practices. They're going to provide insight and advice on building a successful business. They're going to share their own strategies, wins or losses, so that they can help you to understand the lessons they've le learned and most importantly serve as a source of motivation, encouragement, and accountability. Now, this isn't a sales pitch to use us because that part is really up to you. Who you use is up to you. Just get you somebody to help you. It adds so much value to your trucking experience. Now, if you do want to use the Box Truck Couple, you can visit www.boxtruckcouple.com to sign up. But what's most important is that you have a mentor. So in summary, we've discussed five tips to help you enter the trucking space. Tip number one, build a good team. Tip number two, understand your time frames and how to navigate through them. Tip number three, use the best resources. Tip number four, don't skimp on equipment. And tip number five, mentorship is the glue that holds your business together. All right, you made it to the end of the video and we're so happy that you did. So listen, this was just a brief overview of these subjects. If there's anything that we talked about today that you like clarity on, if there's any subject you like more detail, if there's anything outside of this video that you'd like to see a video on, please let us know in the description box. Also, if you need some one-on-one -on -one time, you can always access www.boxtruckcouple.com and schedule a 15-minute, 30-minute, or 60-minute consultation, okay? All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. We are so excited that we're able to bring you this information and help you navigate through the trucking industry. And if you need any uh, anything else, feel free to let us know. If not, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Box truck, couple got first, family second, then the money, 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 money. We can talk some business if it's worth it. Ain't no question. I want money, 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 money. Money, 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 money